it's Kelly and I'm back with another two page layout for two page Tuesday I'm going to scrapbook these photos from a um, walk that I did with my sister-in-law she really wanted to get back into running so we um, did a walk first um, so I didn't run like I would normally have done for this kind of event and what I'm doing here is it was called the yellow brick road 5k because it was in a place where um, the Wizard of Oz is a big deal so um, and putting it on that yellow background paper and I'm wondering if maybe I can use some of those wood veneers um, their words but it just uh, wasn't working out all that well so when I think of the yellow brick road I think of the swirl in the yellow brick road where they start out and it's yellow and red so I took that yellow dot background paper by Chamel it's the little by little pint size fun paper and I'm just going to mount the photos on this side the three photos on the red which is the Doodlebug Petite Prince Ladybug Gingham Linen uh, Free, um, yeah, Gingham Linen Paper. And I've been using a lot of that Doodlebug stuff lately. I really like the um, faux solids from Doodlebug, which is what I would classify this as. Now, and I'm really sorry, guys, but um, I should have pulled my camera out here further, and I didn't. But it'll kind of give you an idea. What I'm doing here is I'm going to use that red paper on the other side as well, but I also want to mount that... Um, my bib on another paper so I'm trying to decide what to do here what color would look good and then I start looking at our shirts like they're blues um, there's a lot of blue in here the sky was a really beautiful blue that day so I'm kind of toying with what to do here I know there's a bluer blue so I went into my second I have more than one of these six by eight paper pads and I found something that, that was a lot more blue than the turquoise of the one before so that um, that kind of bluey aqua star paper is Bella Boulevard freestyle sophisticates and it's the um, uh, it's the six by eight paper pad all right so now I have the uh, photos kind of lined up here how I want them to go and I realized that I really need to mount that photo on the right on some paper too and it should really match the photo on the um, or the bib on the left so that I'm carrying colors from side to side even though I'm not even mirroring my layout from side to side the two pages will go together if I keep using the same products or kind of the same kind of um, category of products from side to side so that's what I'm doing here so I just cut out the inside of that bib paper the paper that the bib is mounted on and then I realized that I had it a little bit uh, crooked so that it wasn't um, like one side was a little bit wider than the other so I just went and trimmed it off and now um, I believe what I'm doing is trimming out the photo mat and that's exactly what I did because I needed to trim that up a little bit as well too so I like the red paper but I thought it was a little bit too high on this um, it felt a little bit weird that the background paper there was exactly or that the that that red paper was sitting in the same kind of spot that the green the line of the green photo on the top there and I'll show you that in just a second again I apologize for not pulling this I have to remember when I do two page layouts to pull my camera out a little bit more so you can see the whole photo from side to side so what I didn't want is I didn't want that line of the red paper to be exactly on the same line of the green paper behind all the people there and that's um, the people from my running team were, that were at this particular uh, race that's what that is okay so now I know I need to journal and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to journal like what kinds of things I'm going to use and I'm looking through my L studio 3x4 cards I just keep them in a little basket next to me and that's what I do then I remembered I had pulled this paper as well to possibly use for this race this arrow paper and it just you know symbolizes like moving forward it kind of looks like I don't know, tire tracks or something for me so I'm thinking that I would like to use strips of this under my photos here and again I apologize you're not going to see much of that uh, underneath on this side except for right you can kind of see it on the far left there you kind of get the idea that it's going behind um, 
which is all I really need because you'll see a big chunk of it right here. And again, I'm just adding the same thing on the left as, or the same thing on the right as I had on the left, but I'm looking at um, making it, it might go in a different direction or that kind of stuff, but it, it's there. So I kind of switched out. So this one would be just a little bit bigger. I felt like it was a little bit too narrow for the space. So now I'm going into my die cuts from L Studio. I store them in these photo boxes from Michaels um, and they're a um, four by six photo box. And so I just have like, um, like the cool colors together and the warm colors together and then I have a neutral box as well. So I just dig through this when I need a little something to add into my layout. So I like that, love this smile piece. I'm getting all the navy because I'm thinking I wanna emphasize blue on this layout, so that's why I'm pulling all the navy. And then I really like that aqua uh, one that says hustle and bustle, and I like the currently. So I haven't glued that photo down because I want to kind of see what happens. I do like the hustle and bustle down there, but I, it's a little bit too many words together. I had to cut um, kind of a it, uh, it was a cut apart and the remnant from the cut apart was still sitting there. Okay, so now I grab these quirk pieces from Seven Paper. They were in a Tuesday morning haul that I did recently. Um, and I'm thinking about using some things that say like Superstar and that kind of a thing. And you can't see me doing it because I didn't pull this in far enough. I could have just pulled it over um, and, and it would have made it. So this is great for a one page layout, but not for a two. All right, so what I'm doing here is I grabbed that gold star and those foam stars are from the Horizon Glitter Foam stickers that I got at Walmart. So I decided I really didn't like the kind of uh, space and shelf that the smile sticker was leaving there. And I don't like the space between the or sticker die cut. I don't like the space between the die cut and the um, uh, arrow paper there, so I have to figure that out what to do. In the meantime, since I know I want to title this Yellow Brick Road 5K, I'm going to grab these gold, gl this gold glitter alpha from American Crafts. It's the Thicker's Basics in Honeycomb, and this is a really yellow font. It's a very yellow gold, which I think gold in scrapbooking has gone to less yellow most of the time. So I don't use these as often as um, I probably would because it doesn't match a lot of the gold products out there. Now those foam stars it did, so that's awesome. And it's completely appropriate for Yellow Brick Road. Now you can also see I don't have all the letters that I need here, so I'm gonna MacGyver some stuff up. The other problem I have is it was a little bit too wide to fit across the top there. So I'm going to um, do Yellow Brick Road 5K and I'm going to do it on this um, above the photo here. And then I realized, wait, if I do the 5K next to the smile, that takes up that space I don't like. And it carries the title from the left page to the right page and then down to the bottom. So it's kind of going, getting your eye to go across the entire two page spread. Okay, so then I'm gonna MacGyver a U, an upside down U into an R and a G into a C. And those are really simple uh, things to do. I know you're gonna worry, by the way, about that missing dot on the I, but I will take care of that. <laughs> Just in case you're already looking at that and saying, oh, she's missing the dot on the I. Okay, so now now I've pulled this in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So I added another yellow foam star to the left of that uh, here we go again, and then um, a couple of small ones. And then I moved the hustle and bustle up to the top of the photo there, and I really like the way that looks. Um, plus the photos on the, um, it, it, plus I think the stars help go from one side to the other. Now I'm also thinking I might want to add some uh, enamel dots. I, and I was thinking I was going to use some of these white ones. They're part of the thing that I'm trying to, part of some things that I'm trying to get onto pages instead of sitting in my stash. So instead I grabbed the Echo Park I Love Winter Enamel Dots and I use these kind of light blue ones on the page. 
There's my dot for the eye. Here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.